What's up and good morning guys. I made another introduction to this and I realized I wasn't very enthusiastic. It's about 7.45. I'm not a morning person. Doing the best I can here. So today I didn't get to finish up the skids yesterday. I got the rock rails on and I was really kind of bummed about that. It started raining on me. Driveway turned into a muddy mess. And so I really want to knock that out. Now I was all supposed to go to the range today and shoot. It's a great day, but I wanted to finish up this project first since I'd already started on it. Now, one of the things I was worried about doing um, in regards to putting these on was accessing the fuel filter, which I'm actually going to show you a clip of. I'm afraid it's not the factory. Well, I know it's not the factory one. It's been replaced. I think it's called a percolator or something like that. But anyways, I wanted to make sure I still had access to it to replace it out with a better, with a better one. They're supposed to be a lifetime product, but as you guys all know, lifetime doesn't mean lifetime. Um, usually it just means till the end of the warranty. But anyways... So I think I'm still gonna be able to access it. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss these on. The reason I was waiting to put these on for a while was because I wanted to make sure the steering rack uh, leak stopped, which it, knock on wood has over the last two weeks because I replaced that steering rack. So everything is looking good. and I'm, I'm feeling good about covering everything up with these skids. Now I've already pulled off the factory skid plate up front down over there. So I'll show you a comparison of what it looks like with the new ones and how everything kind of lines up. I did have to get hardware for it to make it work. Um, some people mentioned my videos were too short, so I'll try and um, extend them out, not with stupid fluff, but just with actual information, which is interesting to some, not so much to others. Also, this afternoon, I'm going to do some uh, uh, gun videos, which I think will be kind of fun since I didn't get to go to the range, and it better pour because it looks amazing out. And if I skip the range because it was going to rain this afternoon, I'm going to be really bummed. Anyways, let's get started. I'll show you what I'm working with, and uh, good morning. <laughs> there you go with it off. It's like five 12 millimeter bolts, super simple to take off the factory skid pan. This is what you're protecting. Obviously, I just replaced the radiator hits out, new lower ball joints, tie rods, all that good stuff. And then the steering rack is the reason why I didn't do this originally because I wanted to wait and see if I could, uh, um, if I was going to fix the steering rack issue because obviously it was leaking everywhere. So now that it's been like two weeks and it hasn't been leaking, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take care of this. Or the new one will extend all the way out to here, covering up your, your front and center diff and bolts on the sides. And then the second one, the long one, extends from here, bolts on first, it mounts right there behind the transmission, and then it mounts right there on that bracket right there. So it's going to have through bolts, through bolts, and actual um, threaded bolts up here. So as I mentioned, there's the factory skid plate. It's a lot smaller than this one. These are used, but they came with the truck. They just hadn't been installed. Um, so the way this lays out is this is obviously the front. That's the back. Um, it's kind of janky because this actually goes over here. This is the rear end, and that goes towards the front like it's laid out. So it bolts through bolts there, through bolts there, and then this actually has uh, threaded hardware that goes through here and then threads into that one so that this can be easily removed without having to remove that one, if that makes sense. So that, this one right here, attaches on top of this up here. So I hope that jives. And then it basically protects everything all the way down. It's one long, huge skid. Now I did have to get hardware, kind of match it up. This is M8 hardware, which I had to get, which kind of sucked because they only had it in red, which Big R does. It's just like the grade, let me see. Yeah, it's the grade 8.8 uh, .8 version. This little baggie cost me like eight bucks. And then I just got standard hardware for the through bolts. Doesn't need anything special. Some lock washers, that sort of thing. Nothing crazy there. I don't wanna make it stupid difficult to remove if I have to. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're looking at. Quick update, after further review, it does look like everything is lined up where it needs to be for this fuel filter. So it's called a purolator, never heard of it. Anyways, they didn't use a bracket, so I'm definitely gonna add this to the list of things to do. And it looks like I'll be able to get my hand around and be able to still access it, which is good. So, um, again, it's it, it's just one of those items that I just, it's on my list. It's cheap. I'm going to WD-40 it up for a while, help it get thread loose, and uh, just swap it out. So, yeah, that's what we're looking like. There's a new rack. And uh, I got the back bolts on just loosely. I'm going to put these on loosely, line everything up very loosely and then snug it all down once everything is in place so there you go nice little shovel right now tighten those bolts well all right just wrapped up i'm going to show you guys what it looks like and uh roll out looks like the weather is going to roll in 
which again i'm glad because i didn't go shooting so again next video i'm going to show you some uh some of my rifles just some of my hunting stuff and just kind of go over that if you guys think it's cool see you guys on the trail sooner or later now that i got this armor up since i'm low and i don't have a lift figure it was a good time to get this all taken care of and uh installed that's why i did it so i'll show you what it looks like and we'll roll out see you guys soon so hopefully this shows up but there you go there's the armor goes all the way back basically continues on to the gas tank and rolls up from there i'm gonna try and show you front review that looks like from better. the front i replaced some of those bolts so i had them and it's continuous all the way to the back now got a couple bolts hanging down but still a lot better than some of the components in there and that uh, goes all the way to the gas tank skid and that's it so i hope you guys enjoy it got some armor ready to go beat up some trails slide around on some rocks all right thank you for watching